you make bad decisions around safety, have some bad outcomes around, uh, around safety, and your farm productivity is going to cop a hammering, and your family's going to cop a hammering, and your community's going to cop a hammering. I, I go onto lots of farms, our farm no different. You're always looking out, how could I do something that would improve the, or minimise the potential risk? Even though it may never happen, but you think there could be a risk there, how can we do it? I mean, a classic one we've got at home now is we're going to uh, auto drafting for our sheep. Um, partly because of technology, because we've got the tags in there now. But I tell you what, if you've ever stood on a drafting gate and by the time the 1000th weather is coming down there and you've drafted the wrong way and then one climbs over the back and whacks you in the head because you're tired and stuff like that, um, going to some other system that means no one has to stand on the gate and swing it because it's all done electronically, they're the opportunities I reckon in farming that, that we've got all the time to see where is that new system, that new something we can put in place that would allow us to minimise that risk from a safety point of view. Helps with us in efficiency as well, it's one less person in the yards we need too. So, you know, there's productivity gains in it, but there's certainly an efficiency gain as well.